I've done a bunch of Arcade 1UP cabinet mods now, including several with lighted coin buttons. I really like how this feature adds to the appearance of a game, particularly when the lights are low in the game room. Since I haven't done anything yet to my X-Men cabinet, I decided it was time to light those buttons. Always looking to try something new, I found an LED light kit I'd not used before from Retro530 on Etsy.com. The first notable feature of the Retro530 kit is that there are just four dedicated red LEDs. I lighted the buttons on my Simpsons cabinet using a different kit that came with a strip of LEDs. And while that worked fine, I thought it might be better to just have a single LED for each button and not also light the interior of the cabinet. The other notable feature is that this LED set uses USB power. As it happens, my X-Men cabinet has a USB port located on the back screen, so before doing anything else, I tested the LEDs. I plugged the cable into the port and then powered up the game. The red LEDs glowed nicely, and just like the marquee socket mods I made on my other games, the USB powered LEDs turn on and off with the machine. To install them, I first removed the two molded coin door panels from the cabinet. These are held in place with a dozen screws and mounting washers. With the coin doors out of the cabinet, I removed the small mounting screws that hold the button inserts in place, then carefully pop them out of the panel. With its buttons removed, I placed one of the door panels back into its alignment holes in the machine. I then used an awl to mark the button centers with starter dimples for drilling the LED's holes. I used the same door to mark all four locations, so you really only need to remove the inserts from a single panel. Before drilling, I applied a strip of 2-inch masking tape under both sets of holes with the sticky side facing up. The tape works well to contain the sawdust caused by drilling and makes cleanup much easier. Using the dimples, I drilled small pilot holes first to clearly mark the location on both sides of the kick plate. Next, I used a 3 8 inch drill bit to make the holes for the LEDs. The cabinet's kick plate is made from MDF and its back surface will tear badly if the hole is drilled straight through with the 3 8 inch bit. To prevent this, I drilled each hole halfway through from one side first. I then used the pilot hole on the back to align the bit and drill the rest of the way through. This results in a hole with clean edges most of the time, unless, as shown on my X-Men cabinet, there's also a layer of vinyl over the MDF. With the drilling done, I folded the masking tape over on itself to lock the sawdust in and then peeled it off the kick plate. I wiped away any remaining dust from the surface. Next, I set to work installing the LEDs. These slip into the holes easily from the back of the cabinet. Mine held fine, but if you find they're a little loose, you can tack them in place with a dot of hot glue. I replaced the coin button inserts and then reinstalled the panels into the cabinet with their screws and mounting washers. With that, I fired up the machine for a test to make sure everything worked and the LEDs were aligned properly. I then replaced the back panel and I wheeled X-Men from my workshop into the arcade. This was an easy modification requiring just a few basic tools and a drill with a 3 8 inch bit. It took about 45 minutes for me to complete it. I really like how the red LEDs look with the translucent buttons on my X-Men game, and while this mod is not quite as cool as the working buttons I installed on my Tempest machine, I'm glad I did it. It definitely adds a lot to the look and the feel of my arcade, particularly at night. Thanks to Retro530 for making a great, low-cost, easy-to-use product. You can find this kit on his Etsy store. And look for my other easy arcade 1UP mod projects on my YouTube channel, Pop Art Studios.